Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm Dex. I'm Mike. And today we're going to do a movie review for Train to Busan. Like a diamond in the rough for this particular movie. But it was kind of odd. I did look at the box office numbers. Mm -hmm. This is South Korea's number one box office hit of all time. It deserves it because I absolutely love this movie. Uh, it is one of my top in my top 10 favorite movies of this year. Whoa, top 10? Top, top 10. Wow. I love this movie. Uh, the movie was beautifully paced, and it had great character building, and a right amount of horror and gore in it. Yes, and I also liked how it wasn't hokey. You know, like, so for example, a lot of movies, these zombie movies, you got like really corny lines, mm -hmm. and you have like a lot of the characters who would do things that a regular person wouldn't do. Mm -hmm. In this movie, if somebody needs to like push somebody into the zombies to survive, they'll be more than happy to do it. And I don't know if that's a, like a South Korean thing where uh, they try to show realistic yes. you know, versions of people. Because mm -hmm. in America, when you watch a movie, mm -hmm. they don't do that. <laughs> well... I thought this movie was like a much better made World War Z. Yes. You know? And I really enjoyed how the zombies moved and how they looked. And uh, I really thought that this movie was had nice action in it. Like it wasn't a boring moment. And I never had a horror movie that kind of pulled at the heartstrings either. Like I was actually moved by a horror movie. Yes. You know? it, it felt like you became attached to the characters. Mm -hmm. And I was really attached to like the, the working man mm -hmm. and also his pregnant wife and the little girl. Except for that, I couldn't really care less about anybody else in the film. Mm -hmm. But even, and, and especially at the end when some people die, like I was really happy. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't usually happen when you watch a movie, mm -hmm. like where you get so attached with these people that you're just kind of like sitting on the other seat and you're like, okay, please don't let anything happen to so-and-so. Please mm. don't let anything happen yeah, to exactly. so-and-so. Yeah, the performances were great. I mean, it was well acted. I mean, great. And also, the cinematography and the sets of the, of the train mm. looked good also. Yes, yes, it, 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 did look, uh, it did look good. Now, there's only one complaint that I did have about the movie. Mm -hmm. Is they didn't really explain in, I guess, full detail mm -hmm. how the virus started. And how the people became infected. Well, they alluded to it, but no, they did not explain it. Yes, but maybe yes. they did that in the prequel. If anyone's watching, if you could let us know. Did they do that in the prequel? I, I, probably so. I don't in, the, in the animated prequel? Yeah. But um, I have nothing bad to say about this movie. Um, I want to give this movie an A+, because it was just awesome. Uh, I really hope the U.S. does not get the rights to this movie and try to remake it because I, I feel they're just going to mess it they're up. They're going to ruin it. Yeah, well, there's actually, uh, for those of you that are interested, mm -hmm. it turns out that there are French studios and also American studios vying for the rights to this film. I don't know anything about the French studios, but in America, it's 20th Century Fox mm -hmm. and also uh, Sony Pictures mm -hmm. are trying to get it. So I'm thinking if they get it and they put a big name star in it, it's going to be horrible. <laughs> It's gonna be horrible. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. should just leave this one alone. I th but but they're not because that that's what that's what Hollywood does. They they take movies and then they end up ruining them. But it will be interesting to see other countries that take this movie mm. and to see what they do with it. Or are you gonna have a sequel? If anyone knows if they're coming out with a sequel to this, that would be great. You know, let us know. Maybe instead, I'm thinking instead of a train, maybe a plane or a boat. <laughs> Hopefully they don't ruin it that way, but it could be something. Playing to Busan, right? <laughs> yes, there we go. You know, the father well, tells the daughter. There's not a lot of room to get around. In I there. guess so. But the father tells the daughter, "We're not taking trains anymore. We're gonna go on this plane." And all of a sudden, it's like, "Oh no!" But yeah, right. So, what'd you give it though? Uh, I'm gonna give it an A as well. Uh, a plus for me. A A plus from okay. I'll, yeah. I'll give it an A plus too. Okay. Wow. Yes. It was it, it was it was very good. I mean, it was one of those movies that I think it was it was basically flawless. Mm -hmm. And also, I think because there was no hype on our side. Exactly. Like we didn't know what to expect, mm -hmm. and we only heard good things about it. Exactly. But because all the comments were coming from YouTube, mm -hmm. they were just like, "Oh my God, the movie was great. The movie made me cry." Mm -hmm. And you get that for any movie on YouTube, people commenting that way. Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> It could be the worst movie, it could be the best movie. So we didn't know what to expect, but then when we saw it, we were really, really surprised. And I think it also helped that 
there wasn't that much dialogue in the film. Yeah. So I think for foreign audiences mm -hmm. that obviously don't speak the language, it's a lot easier to understand because you're concentrating on the screen, not necessarily concentrating Plus on the captions. You can understand getting chased and eaten by zombies. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, let's go, let's get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, like a punch to the face is pretty much universal. Yeah. Yes. All right, uh, so you give it an A+. Plus. I give it an A+. Plus. Mm -hmm. Looks like uh, that's all the time that we have for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yes, and after watching this review, if there's anything that we missed, let us know. We're really excited to know what you guys think. And if there's any other news on this film, like, a, uh, like you know, if they're doing a sequel, let us know. All right, thanks a lot for watching, and we will see you guys next time.